Park, the Little League team is playing at Al Houghton Stadium up in San Bernardino to open the Little League Western Regionals. This is the Hick on Rockland out of Northern Sacramento uh, right now. General Tim Gaughan is getting some post-game reaction, and he also brought us the highlights. As we head into the highlights, looks a lot like this as we head to San Bedo. Our Southern California Parkview Green Monsters facing Northern California. And that's top of two. One on. Michael Rodriguez clears left for a two-run homer. 3-2 three, two lead. Next up, Jose Mendoza sends the ball over right for another homer. And a 4 lead back-to-back -back jacks. Top of four, Rodriguez again. And guess what? Jose Mendoza says, anything you can do, I can do better. Yeah. Smokes that one. That's play of the week material. Allison, if you're watching, Parkview uh, goes on to win as they 10 run rule in the final. This one 16 to 5. They'll play at Las Vegas Silverado on Monday at 4 30. Meanwhile, we go to the San Diego Surf Cup where Chula Vista Rebels meet uh, Beach FC. Points the girls under 14. The Rebels goalie Samantha Link making the nice stop to keep the match scoreless. Early in the second, that's the Rebels' Jaretsi Ramirez front in the back of the net for the lone goal of the contest. Chula Vista goes on to win the final 1-0. All of a start on coach trying to push us more and telling us that we need to like calm down, play soccer. And overall, that's what we basically did. Taking over pressure and just playing like the soccer we were meant to play. Oh, some of the Surf Cup girls, U14 division. The LA Galaxy San Diego taking on Oceanside Breakers. LA uh, Galaxy's Surin Johnson faking out a defender and scoring with the left foot for an early lead. Then his teammate Kate Hasegawa breaking free and finding the back of the net, scoring her second of the match as the Galaxy go on to win 5 0. I think that we just worked really hard and we just wanted to win really badly so I like it because it, there's like people from different states and I think it's really cool how like everyone like comes here. All right, let's go to Alliant University as a big time national tournament going on, the Phenom 150 camp. Here's sophomore all-star game, first quarter, gold six foot nine, Zachary Clements going coast to coast for the bucket while blue MVP. And Joel Anthony gets the basket in the fourth quarter. Blue team wins it pretty big. The final 82 to a 60. Well, all three local players in the junior-senior game of the uh, Phenom 150. We'll pick it up in the third quarter. Blues Cameron DeJesus of Christian scoring along the baseline. Fourth quarter, it's the Blues Elijah Height out of Spring Valley with the nice block party. Yeah. That's a big boy right there. In overtime, it's the Golds' Breon Thompson making the winning basket. Golden goes on to win 47-45. It was fun. I'm like playing with the new people that I've never played with before, coming from all different aspects of the world, learning how to shoot, get into the rock, getting rebounds and stuff like that. Even though we lost, it's not all about that. My favorite thing about basketball is defense. Because I'm a defensive player. I think it will get me further in life. You know, like Kawhi Leonard, like everybody's like, oh, he's the best defender in the world. Like, I want to be just like that. His name is Elijah Height and spelled exactly like you would spell Height. That's awesome. Over at Linda Vista Skate Park, shredders of all ages fighting over one Tony Hawk who continues to awe as a father of Ford, 50 years old. On the half pipe there, Tony dropping in unexpectedly. Bystanders there to take some pictures and get some autographs and say, wow, that's Tony Hawk. Oh, it was a blast. I love doing anything in a hometown. We rarely get to do skate exhibitions in San Diego or even Southern California, so it was fun to do something at home in the summertime and, and uh, get to go home and hang out with my kids afterwards. This one, we wanted to make it special, so we announced it ahead of time and just made sure that people knew that we were going to be here and to watch out for each other and you know, we weren't making it an official thing with barricades or police or anything. We just wanted to come and hang out with the people who are skating here. That is 